Allison, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I'm going to try a painting video. I watched a tutorial on YouTube a while back on some different painting ideas and what I could do since I'm quarantined and I'm kind of bored and have nothing else to do. I originally looked at Bob Ross and he is a pretty famous artist if you guys don't know who he is. And I tried to follow one of his tutorials a while back and I really didn't have any of the proper tools or utensils that I do now and this is how it turned out. <laughs> Don't ask what it is because I'm really not even sure what this is supposed to be. Let's just say it didn't go well and I'm glad that I'm getting to redo a different painting today. A lot of you may not know this but I'm a huge Disney fan. I love all things Disney, Disney movies, all of that. So I found a painting that I thought suited me perfectly and it's one of the Lion King. It's of Mufasa and Simba sitting looking off into the sunset. So I'm going to try to paint that today with oil paints and before I started filming this video I already mixed out the paints that I was going to use because I'm using oil paints and they don't dry as quick as acrylics do so I figured I had the time to go ahead and do that before I started filming. Hopefully it goes well because it looks really cute and I'm excited to try it because honestly I don't paint. I will say it again. I do not paint. There's a first time for everything and I'm excited to be trying this. So the first thing that every video that I've watched with oil painting tells you to do is to use like gesso or gesso, something like that. Basically keeps your canvas moist and makes the colors a lot easier to go on and spread out. Here I'm using an 11 inch by 14 inch canvas on this easel that was homemade. <laughs> Without any further ado, we're gonna get started with the gesso. So I'm gonna pour some onto this plate a lot. The reason I didn't do this beforehand was because I didn't want it to dry and then me have to start painting and the canvas already be dry and so it defeats the purpose of using the primer. So I have another camera set up that's basically going to be time lapsing so if there's parts of this video that seem long or boring then I'll just cut it out and add in the time lapse. So right now I'm going to be time lapsing me putting the so on. So let's go ahead and start. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on here but I'm going with a bit more than usual. And I don't know anything about painting really or any painting terminology, so if I say something that sounds smart, but I really don't have any idea what I'm talking about. I'm kind of just making this my own tutorial and making things up as I go. I do remember watching Bob Ross and he stressed the importance of using a thin layer. I don't want to mess that up. I hope it's okay if I get paint on this easel. Doesn't that sound so satisfying? Oh, I forgot to mention, this video is brought to you by my garage because I didn't feel comfortable filming this in my house. I filmed the failed video of making a Bob Ross painting in my room, and let's just say that did not go over so well. So I figured play it safe. Okay, this looks good. Also, another thing that's different from oil painting that I learned than acrylic is that oil and water don't mix, which I knew that. But you need to use paint thinner, so like mineral spirits. You wanna use mineral spirits to wipe off your brushes because oil won't come off if you use a cup of water, so that's what I'm doing here. This, these are the mineral spirits. And actually, I don't know if you're supposed to wipe off the primer in this. Got lots of paper towels, so that way I can clean up any messes. And the tutorial that I'm learning off of today is a time-lapse video. So she's going to be going pretty fast and she's also doing this painting with acrylics. I bought oil paints a while back and I figured why not get my money's worth and get my use out of them. So I'm going to use oil paints instead of acrylic and I'm sure that you can get just as good of an outcome that you can with acrylic. Alright, so let's go ahead and start watching our tutorial and see what our first step is. Okay, so it looks like the first thing that she did is took like a black and navy blue mixture and started painting up on the top and that's going to be the sky. So I already have that color mixed and I used primary blue mixed with just plain black. I kind of added it in until I felt like it looked good. So we're going to go in with the brush. I'm terrified. All right. And contact. All right, that's pretty black, but it's okay. Also, I learned from Bob Ross to do like crisscross strokes across the canvas, so that's what I'm doing. I don't really have the patience. <laughs> okay, get a little more. Let's 
So in this painting, there's a sunset. I'm sure you've seen it in a thumbnail. The sun's basically set in this portion of the sky, so it's already pretty dark. And she goes down about, I would say, an eighth of the page. So right now I'm just kind of blending down a little bit more because I want to be able to blend in my next colors without having it look super harsh. So that part's done. Next, what she has done, it looks like from the video, she's kind of just blending this blue out even more. So that's what I'm going to be doing. With oils, you don't have to worry about the paints drying up. So you can take as long as you need to work, essentially. The next color that she used is kind of like what looks like a navy, kind of blended into a darker blue. Just the straight primary blue color that I'm going to use to kind of blend that. And then I'm going to use the lighter shade and the even lighter shade. I don't really think you need that much of this color. So we're just going to do a little light line across. Doesn't look too bad. And she goes back and touches everything up later. I'm guessing that we can do the same. So another thing about oil paint is you can go in and kind of wipe off any mistakes. And again, with kind of blending even more down. Okay, this is not looking terrible so far, which is good because I thought it was going to look way worse. The next color is the next shade darker or lighter. My bad. There is one part of this drawing that I'm really concerned about and that is the tree because I am really not good at the whole drawing figures of any sort like this kind of stuff like blending out I'm really not terrible at but I'm definitely not the best at drawing like trees or people by any means. I saw some crazy drawings. There was one of like an eye and I was like, I would get so frustrated. I would never be able to do that. <laughs> now she's going in with an even lighter shade, just kind of blending it out. And this is the light tist that I made. So let's just go ahead and do that. How's everybody's quarantine been? Has it been good? Mine's been pretty boring, but that's to be expected kind of all looks like the same color to me. Does it look? Does it look okay? Like this color and this color look the same to me. I don't know. Maybe we can add in some white. It's very windy outside. Like very, very windy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. I think I know what comes next, but let's watch the video just to make sure. So she's kind of going back with a rag and making it look even darker. There went the pink. Okay, so she kind of went through and blended it out even more than it already was. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of wait until I've gotten everything onto the canvas and then see if I need to add anything else. My nose is running. So she kind of went in with this like purpley kind of tone. So I mixed this. I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully it goes over okay. I think what I'm going to do is try to transition it from the blue into the purple. Just kind of pack it on my brush a little bit. Oh god. She went straight across while I'm doing like crisscrossings. <laughs> it doesn't look terrible. I'm actually really trying on this. Last time I made a painting video, which didn't go up, so don't look for it. I felt really rushed and felt like I was going to run out of time if I didn't do it within a certain time frame. But that's probably why it turned out so bad. I don't know how far down she goes with this purple, but I guess we'll see what happens. I'm really trying to blend this in the best that I can and even it out. My hand is not used to this kind of work. That looks okay. Let's see what else she does. What is she even painting with? Oh gosh. Okay. So what she looks like she did is her lines are streaky. There we go. That looks better for me, Matt. Makes a little bit of a darker purple. Looks like she kind of started blending in some more different colors. How's my ankle? Anyhow. off obviously. Why do I keep dripping this everywhere? It's all just fine. She looks like she did some orange first and then added some yellow over top, just some small yellow streaks. So I'm going to do the orange next and it's kind of a light orange. I don't know if you can tell 
but it's not very dark, so it's kind of a pretty big transition going from purple to orange. And contact. I don't know if I like this. Oh well. As Bob Ross says, just make happy little accidents, right? I think in one of the earlier shows I mentioned, we don't we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. This is a lot more yellow than I would have thought it would be, but it's okay. My favorite part that I'm looking forward to most in this uh, tutorial is making the stars because I love like flicking stuff onto the canvas and that's what this one wants you to do. Just got paint on my thumb. Hers looks really dark and mine's kind of more subtle I feel like and I don't know if that's okay. Kind of blends up into the purple of it. Now what I'm going to do is she kind of added another red spot almost to the very bottom. So this is kind of what I mix in. It's a little bit of orange and red, white, a little bit of yellow. Not too much though because this is supposed to be pretty dark where it is. And it looks like what she's done, she's kind of blended up the red even up here a little bit, which is fine by me. This is gonna take forever to dry, but I'm going to college in the fall and I want some nice paintings to hang up in my dorm room. So I figured if I could paint now, then I wouldn't have to worry about it later. So I'm kind of brushing this out a little bit more and I wanna make it really dark at the bottom to make it exaggerated. And again, she kind of went above and beyond for the technique that she used. She didn't use brushes until she got about to the grass part, which was black. All right, this is gonna be kind of scary because this is really dark. Oh gosh, it's fine. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. It looks great. How bad does it look on camera? Let's look. Honestly, it doesn't even look that bad. And this was the easy part. Oh shoot, I forgot to add some red up in the top. Ah! I just spilled that on my shoe! No! I guess I'm gonna add some more of this red, dark red, here. Even up in the purple a little bit, it looks like she has some. Okay, I think we're done. She added a little bit of like light marks within it, so I guess I can do that really quick. Add a little bit of white, kind of over this yellowy area. Let's continue watching the video and see what she does next, shall we? So it looks like she's just going in and blending it even more, which I don't really care to do that much. <gasps> you guys, this is my favorite part. We get to do the stars. All right, so what she used, I think she used like a toothbrush to kind of flick the white paint on to canvas. She mainly did it up in this dark area. I am gonna take this down and lay it here. I will do a time lapse of me doing the stars on the canvas. Okay, so painting the stars is a lot harder than you might think it might be. I started out using oil paint to do the flick technique where you put it on and you kind of just flick it on there. Oil paint is very thick. It was not coming off of the brush when I would hit it. I had to go grab some acrylic white paint and it kind of got messed up a little bit. As you can see, there's some mistakes here and here and here. But it's okay. It, we can just pretend that it looks like a big constellation of stars. And in the meantime, I got some paint on my laptop. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's my school one, so... Anyway, moving on from that, let's see what step is up next. Kind of adding in her own stars. I definitely didn't start after she painted all of this on. It's okay, I think mine still looks pretty good. She went in with a Q-tip. Now that is smart. What is she doing? Oh, she's tracing out the lines. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm one step ahead of her. She kind of traced out the lines in the grass herself, but I'm one step ahead of her. I got a trace out that whenever I'm done painting the grass, I'm going to set it right here and paint over them. To me, the grass is terrifying to make because I am not very good at drawing like straight lines of grass or any of that, but I'm going to try my best to make it happen. Man, I made a mess. <laughs> I'm going to be using a pretty thin brush. I'm not sure what size this is. Let me see if I can. Brush number three from the brush set that I have. So we're going to go ahead and start this. I'm not really going to be tracing it out just because I feel like that defeats the purpose of me trying to paint. Except for the lines, I do need to trace out the lines because God knows I will mess that up. I'm not going to go very far above the dark red just because 
I want that to be visible in the picture so I make the bush could be a little bit better. It's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a straight line a little next to the end of the canvas because we're gonna draw the tree and that is to the side. And I would rather go down than up because I kind of want it to stay pretty straight. Not so bad so far. Everything the light touches is all okay. While I'm at it, I am gonna draw the stem of the tree. It branches off, but we can always worry about that later. <laughs> now I'm gonna fill it in the bottom at least. Maybe it would work better if I turned it like this. This is really satisfying. It already kind of looks like grass. Now it's time for the most terrifying part, which is actually drawing out the tree. It literally scares me so bad, but we're gonna do it. This is probably the part where acrylic paint is just a little bit more beneficial to use. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna time lapse this step because I'm gonna be trying to focus and I'm not gonna be able to talk really, and so there's no point in me filming a regular speed video of me drawing this tree. <laughs> Let's go on to the time lapse. Okay, people, we are back and I have painted the tree successfully. It's definitely not as good as the lady in the video painted hers, but considering I don't ever paint trees, I'd say it's not half bad. So we're gonna paint the lions. I printed out a black and white portrait of Mufasa and Simba sitting, and then I cut out the figures of the lions so that I can use that to trace because I did not want to trace them by myself. I have this little sponge brush here that I'm gonna try and use. And I'm gonna paint Mufasa first and then I'm gonna go down and paint Simba because for some reason he's further up on the edge of the cliff in this picture than Mufasa is. So let's go ahead and start. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work with oil paints. I've only ever seen it really done with acrylics. So we're gonna test it out. The tree was definitely the hardest part of this entire painting, I must say. Also, I even looked up some images on Pinterest of some paintings like these and some of them had drawn on Mufasa's like fuzzy mane. I don't know if I'm gonna go that far and I know the video that I'm watching this tutorial on she wrote a little quote to the side but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So there he is. He's a little off center. There you go bud. So there he is. And now let's do Simba. He should be fairly easy. I feel like I've used so much black and white oil paint. That was quick. All right, not bad. Let's fill in a little bit of this pinky spot here. And there he is. Let's set this up on the easel and get a better look. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. You should have seen me complete all of this doing my time lapse. The only thing that I didn't film is me adding these little grass uh, streaks in and to do that I got a comb and I brushed upward with some of the excess paint. I didn't want a bunch of grass, I just wanted it to be very faint so that's why it's not very dark. This is the finished thing. It actually turned out a lot better than I expected it to and I might have to do some of these paintings more often. I definitely like how the lines turned out but those were traced so of course I like how those turned out. The tree's okay, it could have gone a little bit better but I'd say for my first time doing a real painting since middle school it's not bad that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you do please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will be trying to post more videos because our school time off has been extended even longer now so i'll have more time on my hands i will talk to you guys in my next video bye